When building, there are always problems to overcome. So today we got our containers in. As you can see, we have two sides of the gate here. One's open, one's not open. The one that's opened, our containers cannot fit. So we need to go through this one. Apparently, the gate has not been fully constructed. So it's been welded shut. So we have to find round and round ways to get this gate open so that the container can go in. The gate is open now. We can now start to move the containers into place. Uh, we still have to wait for the crane. Uh, one thing then another. Container one is down, placed well, quite well really. The second one, well, the truck has a problem, so they need to fix that quickly so that we can get this moving. As you can see, we're setting up to pick up container number two now and align it properly with the already dropped container number one. And that will, in total, give us the full shape of the building. And we can skip to cutting our doors and windows for this particular building. Tell me if you Welcome everyone and thanks for joining us again. As you can see, we started to make all our cuts or trying to make all our cuts on the shipping container. The first thing we need to do is mark out all our places where our doors and windows are going to fit. Uh, we do this so that, you know, we can get some feedback from the client and ensure that this is exactly what they want before we actually go ahead. We've actually gone ahead and done that and there's actually some some movement or some correction that we need to do so it's always a good thing to always get back check before you make anything permanent on the shipping container so yes join us as we go along as we do this uh, another thing we've done today is first things first starting to connect the two containers on top we have some flat bar three inch uh three inch flat bar that we're using to run across the whole length of the shipping container and connect them from the top. This is the first level of reinforcements that will keep the containers together. We're also doing all our base works and raising the land. We've completed one section over there. Here's another section. And then there's a section that wraps all the way to the side. This is going to be so dope. Uh, it's going to be looking so good when it's done. I can't wait. Uh, we have our fabricators making all our window cuts or window uh, placements at the back also. That's also going on simultaneously. As you can see, welders on top over there, joining the containers. You have uh, masons over here, creating the floor. Yes, it's all hands on deck, let's go. Wanted to build for such a long time, a double shipping container build that we call the Wayne. 
it's going to be absolutely crazy we're trenching we have our carpenters in with materials coming into site we're preparing the site and making sure that everything goes well for the containers to come in so join us as we do this let's go what do you think you're doing huh don't be scared can you ride bicycle can she ride oh my god oh my god just look at that look hey jesus hey hey what are you talking about? Oh yeah, go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Don't go and crash, yo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I want to ride! And there comes our Formula 1 racer. There he goes, there he goes, there goes Lewis Hamilton. I will Lewis Hamilton wins the race. <laughs> <laughs> Learning how to ride a bike. You are trying, yay! Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> gone ahead and drop the walls inside the shipping container to create one space within as you can see and we are currently reinforcing with a huge amount of bars all the way down the length of the shipping container to prevent it from sagging starting off with our terrace works as you can see we are running all our H beams that will support the terrace we try to ensure the H-beam sit on the edge of the containers where you pick them up so that it carries the weight and the weight is not sitting on the sheets which are a bit flimsy so we run these beams all the way from edge to edge making sure to support them as we go and from back to front we have an extension here of about 1.2 meters which creates a bit of a facade and an awning for the building and also a terrace. So all in all, trying to get everything to go together and move together. Also some work going on in the back around our plumbing and also inside with all our cuts and frames. And now also we're starting to uh, prepare all our works for uh, internal logging. So yes, here we go. So over the last couple of hours, we've been sinking the foundations and gradually and gradually it's been going down. As Elia mentioned, you can see how much water there is inside as we go down. So we are constantly having to pump that out all the way, far, far away, so that we can now start to do the bottom casting to ensure that it can hold all the waste from the toilet. Here is our mix, putting that together and pumping out, just waiting to ensure everything goes well. And as you can see, also the last bit of the terrace that wraps around the building is going up and we're welding all our eight beams into place. Yes, 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 going quite nicely. Can't wait to see how this turns out. 
There again, as you can see, we are moving quite nicely along with all our framing and terrace works. The stairs are up, as you can see, we have all our rises up. Uh, and then we're taking that all the way up with the shootout that will create uh, the awning for the build itself. And also finishing up by adding all our container sheets, as you can see them down there. We're gonna take them and put them upstairs. Yes, this is moving quite nicely. Follow along for more. Inside the shipping container, we're currently doing all our insulation and all our wiring works. You can see our electricians down there. We're also finishing up some of our framing works as we move along from one end to the other. Another thing is we've connected the container on the bottom. As you can see there, we have the flat bar running across. Bit by bit, it's coming together. On in coming up. Everything moving really smoothly. Let's see how this goes.